quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. What's your expectation? Yeah. Will you come around? Whoa, whoa. Will you come around? And I... Okay. <laughs> um, so in ninth grade, I took Spanish language. I took a language as most people do. Um, and that was the first year I was really moved on from more of like a vocab memorizing thing to more of literature, extensive speaking skills. Um, and I was really, really struggling and my teachers were noticing because my Spanish grades were falling far, far below my other grades. Um, and my Spanish teacher suggested that I get tested for a learning disability. And at first I was extremely skeptical. I didn't want to do it at all. Uh, but as my grades continued to dip down and it didn't really correlate with the amount of work I was putting in. I was putting in so much work, tutoring after class, just as anything you could think of, meeting with my teacher outside of the classroom. Uh, but it still wasn't working. So I went to get tested and I, it was very clear to the doctors that I had a phonological awareness disorder, which is on the dyslexia, the broader tree, um, that made it extremely difficult for me to learn language, um, which was relieving in many ways, but I was also super skeptical about it, but it did help because I didn't have to struggle through Spanish and, you know, bring down my grade point average and break down, like, the time that I was able to put into my other classes diagnosed with dyslexia when I was in kindergarten and through working with tutors and other teachers I was able to come up with ways to cope with my dyslexia. I was taught solutions to kind of think outside the box and you know being able to learn this at a really young age actually made me a much stronger person in the long run.